What is up guys? Today we have a very special car with us, which is this Volkswagen Tiger R-Line. And what makes it so special is, is that this car is a car of the year finalist. This is NSL Auto Reviews, and this baby was brought to you by Order Our Centurion. So, the VW Tiger R-Line specifically, this actually looks quite interesting. It's got a very nice shape to it. But guys, let's talk about the R-Line. So you've got such a cool bumper here in the front and it looks so stylish, especially when you're looking at compact SUVs these days. I mean, this looks damn good for what it is. And also what's nice is you get a very proud R-Badge over there, letting you know that it is an R-Line. But guys, this car comes with VW's IQ lighting system. And trust me when I say, if you were to drive this car and jump into another car, it would be very difficult to switch over because this system actually works brilliantly while at night. But let's talk about the tackies. You get 18 inch rims with this VW Tigo and it's sitting on hand cooked tires. And guys, let me just say, for what it is, it actually sits super comfortably and it's actually such a nice drive in this car. But we'll get to that at a later point. This is also where it gets a little bit interesting. This is Volkswagen's take on a coupe styled SUV. But look, this is actually a compact SUV. So this is quite interesting because whenever you come across coupe styled SUVs, they're usually these larger cars. So it's actually quite refreshing to see it in a car of this size. I mean, look at the beautiful lines that run across and you look at the back end here where it actually slopes down a little bit. And guys, it actually has a very decent boot space. So yes, you are sacrificing a little bit of boot room with regards to the styling of the car, but it's only with regards to a little bit of height. There's actually, it's actually a very impressive boot space for a car of this caliber and a car of this size. So I think that styling choice that they made to give this car a more sleek and more aggressive type of view, it actually works exceptionally well. All right guys, so let's look at the back end of this car. And it's actually a very interesting place to be because this is a coupe styled SUV. It already looks very unique. But what I like about it is you don't get many compact coupe styled SUVs. So this is very cool because it, it's not a common car that you come across. What I do like about this though, it does have the R-Line package, which means you get a blacked out spoiler, you get black accents here at the bottom with some chrome finishes, and it really ties well into this tail light with these black accents and some dark red finishes. So it really pulls together, especially with that slant that you get there. So it's such an awesome looking car and I love it. You know, you, you'll be very pleasantly surprised to see the back end of this car. But because it's a coupe styled SUV, you kind of sacrifice a bit of boot space with regards to height. But let me just tell you this. When I opened this car up for the first time and I looked in here, like my jaw dropped, it actually has a lot of boot space. It is actually quite deep. So I kind of feel like you are actually not sacrificing for that coupe styled SUV look. And I believe that it truly works very well. So let's talk about the interior. And as you can see, I'm usually seated in the driver's seat. But for this car specifically, I decided, you know what, let's give it the privilege of sitting in the passenger seat because it's actually quite a nice place to be. And I would like for you guys to see a little bit more of this car. So let's chat about it. You get actually a very nice steering wheel. So it's a bit smaller than the usual that you would come across, but it makes it so comfy because you get this beautiful leather stitching around the whole steering wheel and it actually looks so nice and it feels so good in the hand because it's soft it's smooth and it's a very pleasant steering wheel and you also get that proud r badge over there which i love about this car you do get a fully digital cluster up in front of you which is nice it goes with vw styling and what they've aimed with majority of their cars here and it looks so good it looks so cool and i love it because you can customize it as much as you want to you know you can play around with the way you want it to look what you want it to display and it's a very effective digital cluster in my opinion looking at the infotainment system and this is what i like about this we recently had a tiguan r line now we're in a tago r line which is a lot smaller but it doesn't really sacrifice much tech. So you get an eight inch infotainment system here with Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and a mirror link. But what I like about it as well, you get gesture controls, which is quite nice. So just at a wave of a hand, you can control what you are pretty much doing over there, which is quite cool. And I find it very convenient, especially while you're driving. If you want to scroll through something or skip to a next song or go to a previous song, instead of playing with buttons and you want to look fancy and you want to show off to your friends that you are taking out on a jaw, you just wave your hand and the car will do what you want it to do, which is quite cool. Below that, you do get touch sensitive climate controls units and sorry I saw blasting there a little bit so if you heard a blast of wind that was the AC unit 
but it's very nice you know it's easy to use they've added some nice improvements there so you know once you put your finger down you know exactly where you are and kind of what you need to do so it's actually a very effective system and i know it was a bit of a touchy point of conversation for most cars that came out with touch control climate control units because it was pretty much a screen so you're literally pressing at nothing but with all of these light nice little indents and stuff you know exactly what you are pressing and what i like about this car as well and i didn't really expect it well expect to find something like this in a car of this size is you get heated seats which is quite cool so enough of the ac unit i've spoken a lot about that now below that you do get a wireless charging pad which is quite nice so you don't have to plug your phone in you know just pop it in you can continue charging it you get two usb-c charging points which is quite nice it's keeping up with the times and yeah guys for you guys who do use usb-c charging points you know what kind of a difference it makes when it comes to charging your phone if you do decide to use that or your passengers want to use it you do get some buttons along the side here which is quite cool it feels actually super sporty i really like it so you can put your you know your stop start off you've got your mode select here which if you press it you've got eco normal sport and individual as vw like to make it they like to allow you the luxury of customizing your own drive you get park assist and all of those other buttons you get a manual handbrake which is quite cool I mean guys this is it's not a race car so I wouldn't recommend gripping this thing up while you're going to a corner unless you really want to I mean it's your car when you do buy it so you can do whatever you want but it does have a manual handbrake here which I actually quite like and it's got beautiful stitching like I said on the single and on the handbrake you get beautiful stitching which is great and you get this cute tiny armrest here which is quite nice you can you know extend it forward and backwards and if you lift it open you can hide some of your stuff in there so looking at the seats as well it's got very cool seats there's a lot of different material on here so you get some cloth you get alcantara with your r badge and guys it's actually a very comfortable seat so if i sit back it actually hugs quite well and there's more room you know so that you have some wiggle room around here as well so i do quite like it this car specifically we've got a panoramic sunroof which is quite a nice addition to have and guys i don't know about you but for me it's difficult to decide how i would like to use a panoramic sunroof do I use it because it's a sunroof or do I use it to look cool to other people because I'm sure I'm not the only one that has thought this but with VW's panoramic sunroofs when it slides back like that like we've seen in a lot of their cars it actually looks very cool it looks like you've got something unique on the top there when you're driving past people so I don't know that's just a part of me that's been itching to say but yeah let's see if you guys agree with me on that cool let's jump in the back Oof, okay we are at the back sorry that was a cheesy thing to do <laughs> but let's talk about it there's actually a decent amount of room in here which i was quite surprised by you know this car doesn't look big on the outside at all so jumping in you are really pleasantly surprised in a lot of different aspects so let's look at leg room i can kick my legs around i can sit back quite comfortably i have a decent amount of leg room with a decent amount of headroom as well my hair's not rubbing or anything you know if I sit like this it might rub but who's gonna sit like that you're gonna sit back and relax man you're not gonna be sitting uptight and I don't know who would be sitting like that on the drive anyway so it's actually quite nice here you do get some isofix points here you know so for you guys with babies and for you guys that have friends with babies you can pop the car seat at the back here and transport them very nice and safely as well not too much tech here at the back you do you do get electric windows which is good i mean that should be a standard on the majority of cars these days and you do get an additional two usb-c charging points here so at least you know when you're going on a long travel or on your way to vacation or whatever whoever's sitting here at the back they can plug their phones in and they can charge it and not worry about running out of battery so yeah it's actually quite nice and i'm very surprised but yeah let's take it for a drive so we're in the vw tiger r line and what is it like driving this car and it's actually very pleasant i'm very pleasantly surprised by how comfortable it is especially with it being on 18 inch rims on a car of this size and also bear in mind this is a one liter turbo with 85 kilowatts and 200 newton meters worth of torque so at first if you're just looking at the specs you would kind of be like okay geez is 18 inch a little bit too big for this car but it's not this car pulls itself very well it's very impressive and it's actually very very comfy so it's quite a surprising car it's a very pleasant car 
and it's awesome to drive especially with having all the tech in here it makes driving this car super simple makes the driving well makes driving it nice and easy and i like it all the fine touches like even the steering wheel you know with the steering wheel being like this very soft touch leather with this beautiful stitching it actually works so well you can see why this vw taigo is a car of the year finalist it was only launched last year and we didn't have a taigo in the country before that so it is really a car that shook the market it's very scarce it's difficult to come across this car and you can actually understand why because so many people bought it and it's such a brilliant car to have so guys with this car being so scarce i can tell you where you can pick up one or two of these uh, obviously depending on what the stock is like at the point in time but this car specifically is sitting at vw master cars at order house centurion so you guys can come check this car out over there and then yeah you can check out uh, vw auto house centurion as well because they do have some new stock as well so guys it is clear why this car is a car of the year finalist and it is such a pleasure to drive and it's a really awesome car and i think you guys would enjoy it thanks for watching check you at the next one